An ancient tusked creature that lived on Antarctica 250 million years ago was the first known animal to survive by hibernating, according to a new study. Called Lystrosaurus, it looked like a cross between a giant pig and a lizard and slept for days, weeks or even months on end to get through the long dark nights. This earliest known example of hibernation in an animal dates back to the supercontinent of Pangaea, according to a team from Harvard University. Hibernation is a familiar characteristic of modern animals living near or within polar regions, which do it to get through a dark winter month when food is scarce. The new discovery involving taking a thin slice from a Lystrosaurus tusk and looking at stress rings proves that hibernation has been around since before the dinosaurs. Lead author Dr. Megan Whitney said the stress marks in the tusks are similar to marks in teeth associated with hibernation in certain modern animals. Lystrosaurus was an early relative of mammals and it thrived in what is now Russia, China, India, Africa and Antarctica, which at the time may have been forested. The stout and squat four-legged forager could reach eight feet long and had no internal teeth, just a pair of tusks protruding from its upper jaw. This enabled it to dig for roots, tubers and other vegetation. Like those of elephants, the tusks grew continuously throughout their lives. Fossilized remains can harbor information about metabolism, growth and stress or strain on the body, according to the Harvard team. They compared cross-sections of tusks from six specimens in Antarctica and four from South Africa and they all showed similar growth patterns. But they were thick and close together in the Antarctic fossils, a feature absent from the others taken from South Africa. This indicated there was less of the hard, dense bony tissue found in tusks and teeth, likely due to prolonged stress from longer days and colder nights. Lystrosaurus may have undergone complete hibernation, a weeks long reduction in metabolism, body temperature and activity, the team said. Earth was much warmer during the Triassic than today and parts of Antarctica may have been forested but there was still annual variations in the amount of daylight. Dr. Witness said many other ancient vertebrates at high altitudes may also have used torpor, including full hibernation, to cope with the strains of winter. But famous extinct animals, including the dinosaurs that evolved and spread after Lystrosaurus died out, don't have teeth that grow continuously.